Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I am giving you another review for an order received in the District of Massachusetts, my favorite district. Um, and I'm also giving you updates to my course. If you're interested in learning about those things, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This information is not indicated as legal advice. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. So yes, I like to live dangerously. I went back to the District of Massachusetts. I, long story short, I did get approved for having another unclaimed fund go through. Long story, and this is the long story, not making it short this time, the deal was $1154.75. 25% uh, is what I got, so only $288.69 from this one. Um, was it worth it? Yes and no. Yes, this was a short amount of money, but, and I waited a long time to get it. January the 22nd is when I submitted the petition, but it's partly my fault because I was doing an experiment. I had um, the other three claims that I did was with another judge in this district. I wanted, and she told me how to get it because I got the orders with the funds from those particular deals. But here it is, I was working with a whole nother judge and I wanted to see if I could utilize a different contract if I would still get the same results. So I was doing an experiment. So essentially what I found out in uh, the state of Massachusetts is if you're not buying out a claim, they're not going to send you the check directly. Okay, so you can use any kind of contract that you want, and I tried it. They're going to send you care of always. So if you don't have an issue with cashing checks that are third party, which I don't have an issue because my bank accepts them, but if you're in a state or if you're in a district or if you have a bank that doesn't like third party checks, then you may not want to work in this district. But what I learned, that's essentially what I did learn is no matter what contract you use, if you're not buying out, they're only going to send this to you care of. Okay, so January the 22nd, I sent in the petition a long time ago. This is the longest to wait. Um, I got an order back March the 30th. Now, let's say that I did everything that I was supposed to do, like I did the first uh, round of claims. I probably would have gotten an order and the check within uh, actually a probably a decent amount of time because the order that they sent telling me to change everything was sent March the 30th. So that is actually not a bad turnaround time. But because being who I was, I was doing an experiment. I wanted to see, hey, can I use this with a different judge? Are they going to have the same interpretation? And these judges um, are collectively saying that, you know, the check is still in care of. So because of that, and I had to change everything, this is what adds on the extra time, okay? So am I still going to work in the state of Massachusetts? Of course I will. I'll try. Um, because now I see the process. I see exactly it doesn't matter which judge that, you know, I go with or which claim I go with. Essentially, it's going to be that particular process. And again, I go through these and I'm trying to get a deal in each district so that I can warn you and I can caution you because on paper, it looks like this district is similar to any other district that I've had to work with um, and I haven't had any issues. But in actuality, um, when you're putting the theories to practice, these judges in this district are looking at it in a different you know, uh, spotlight. So all of that to say... I probably will still work here. I did get an order authorizing the payment. I know that this claim is only for 288, but I gained a wealth of knowledge and I also was able to caution you and to update my program because of this experience that I went through. All right. So, with the other claims that I spoke about recently, the one in Connecticut, the one in Ohio, the one in Missouri, it looks as if all of these are going to come in the same month. So all of these added together with this little 288 is 1637.50. Now I do have another one in New Jersey and I'm hoping that that will come in the same month and then I will discuss what it was like to work there. So far that district is pretty smooth sailing. Um, so I don't have, I guess I can't have too many complaints for the Northeast. It's just uh, Massachusetts. It's just different. And again, I'm not... Um, upset about this process because I learned a lot even though it wasn't um, you know it was for a small amount sometimes this is what's necessary so that you understand how things are truly working and how you know it's different per state so that is that 
that's basically what I was able to get for this particular, um, you know, month so far. And I'm going to come back once the one in Connecticut, as I mentioned, comes back and the one from Missouri. I'm waiting on those checks to come back and this one. All right. So these are the updates to the $500 course that I mentioned. I've essentially um, uploaded two videos um, and these are in the bonus section of the $500 course. The first one, I'm going over the Western District of Missouri. Recently, in the previous video, I talked about the mailing part of what you have to do after you've gotten an order granting the funds go to you for the Western District of Missouri. You have to submit certain things in the mail. So I show you how to do that process. And the state of Massachusetts, I'm showing you, this is video two in the bonus section, I'm showing you basically the change in process, how to fill in the documents, utilizing my own example on what I did, how I had to do it, so on and so forth, and the contract that you're supposed to do that corresponds with, you know, the change. So that is that. And then also another thing that you will notice if you're a student of mine and you've gotten to the letters section and the contracts, I've taken out the extra sample contracts. I essentially gave you two samples of each type of document so that you can have variety and you are able to kind of look and choose which one you want. But I had someone who decided that they wanted to uh, upload all of those documents with one deal and that's not what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to choose and pick the right one because you have to review the documents properly. Don't skip ahead in the program. Don't just jump to the contracts and just without going through the lessons. Well, there is always a step one, step two, step three, till you get to lesson 10. Then you want to start reviewing the contracts. But that's neither here nor there. I took out the extra contracts. I wanted to streamline it for you um, so that now you know that there is only one for this particular um, program, all right? So again, all of those updates are in the bonus part. And if you have any questions, please email me, Spring Solutions LLC. If you get a deal in the Western District of Missouri, Massachusetts, because these are the ones that are a little bit different, email me and let me know um, what's going on for that particular deal. I will walk you through it. Um, and as I get deals in other districts, again, I will add updates if they need. These are the only two that are a little bit different. All the other ones have been the same, okay? So I hope that this is helpful. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.